Hey beautiful friends, today is April 24th and we are getting married in less than a month. So we're here today at our local town office and we're gonna go inside, get our marriage license and see what the next steps are. We got our marriage license officially and the next step is just to take this when we go get eloped on May 22nd, have our officiant and two witnesses fill it out and then we are officially married, Alyssa and Harrison Hudson. All right, so we just left Xenos Works. Andrew creates beautiful handmade rings and he actually was resizing my ring for a little bit because I thought I was initially a size four and I had gone down to a size like three and a half, right? Or three and a quarter. Yeah, they brought it to a three and a quarter. They brought it down to a three and a quarter and I literally could not get my ring off. For the life of me, we had to do like the infamous string trick. Look it up on YouTube if you can't get a ring off. But anyways, we did that and it was super painful. So I had him make it bigger and we went back to a size four. Anyway, so he was resizing my ring this time and also he's hand making a beautiful gold band to go around this. Um, so he's making my band as well as Harrison's silver band that has like a hammered look. That's kind of his style is the very like raw, organic, natural metal look. So that's the vibe that we are going for and that's what my ring kind of currently is now. So it, it matches perfectly. We're really looking forward to getting our rings. Today we saw the, the wax cast, the molding basically that will be the shape of our final rings. So it was really cool to see like the process of everything and just like the stages of how a ring is made. It's really fascinating. So I'm really stoked for the band that's going around the teardrop shape. And this is a moonstone by the way. But here we go, it's so beautiful. If you're in Maine, check out Xenos Works in Brunswick, Maine uh, for all of your ring needs. We wanted to initially have an elopement um, but our parents and friends like wanted to obviously have a big celebration. So we were kind of going back and forth with what we wanted to do. And we decided, well, we initially decided on an elopement and then it moved into trying to plan like a little wedding, um, you know, with like 70 people. And so then we were like, oh, if we do it at Harrison's grandma's house in Boston, we'll save money on a venue and yeah, have everyone just come to the house. And so we explored that route and we quickly learned that, you know, doing it at your house, you have to bring in all of the vendors and that is super expensive. Um, so we were getting quotes for catering, live music and all that stuff. And that was also adding up super quickly to like 20 to $30,000. And it also started to become really stressful. And I was like, you know, this is why I didn't want to have a wedding in the first place is because it's super stressful and it's really expensive. And being in the wedding industry, like we are photographers and filmmakers for weddings, we kind of see behind the scenes of the stress and the money and just all the planning that goes into it. And, you know, just personally for us, it's just not something we want we want it to, to do. And so we were like, all right, instead of having this big old thing in Boston and having all of our friends fly from California, because most of our friend group is in California since that were, that's where we moved from, uh, we didn't want to have everyone fly out to the East Coast. We decided to go a simple route and we're having a very small intimate elopement. It's about 10 people max and we're doing it at a really beautiful nature preserve on the coast of Maine and it's free. We don't have to pay for anything. And then we're going out to a really nice Italian place after on the coast for dinner. And then we decided that we're all going to stay at a really beautiful uh, resort. So that's kind of the route that we chose again. We're really excited because it has not been stressful at all. It's been really cheap and we're saving money because we want to buy a house and it's just more in alignment with who we are and, and our goals. I hope this video inspires you um, if you're looking for a cheaper way to celebrate your love. Know that love is free and you don't have to spend thirty to $40,000 to have a big wedding and to marry your best friend. You can do it any way you want to and it doesn't it shouldn't like it shouldn't have to cost you so much money. So without further ado, I still wanted to go the traditional route of sending out invitations to our parents just because I'm a very crafty girl and I love the idea of invitations and that was like one of the things I was actually bummed about when we decided to do an elopement. I was like, "Oh man, like I'm not going to be able to send invitations." So I'll show you guys what I decided to do um, in regards to invitations. I wasn't really happy with what I was finding online, like on Etsy 
and Canva and I wanted to just make my own. So I decided to buy blank hemp paper from Etsy, like just white paper. And then I bought these beautiful green envelopes and I bought a wax seal stamp kit from Etsy. And then I bought a calligraphy set where you have the pen and the ink and you dip it and you write. As I wanted to just, like I said, I'm only making, I was only making like 10 invitations. So I wanted it to be very intentional and crafty and like I wanted that homemade look instead of just going and like getting something printed. So I, uh, this, I don't want to open this because I'm saving this for our kids to open someday actually. Um, but yeah, I just ordered um, these beautiful green envelopes and then it has our name and address on the front. And then if you can see right here is the wax seal stamp I got. It actually is our initials, A and H. And it was really fun to, so you just take like a few of these wax beads in this little, I have them in this little bowl right here, but you take like three or four of them and you put them in this little thing and then you put it over a candle and then you pour it on here and then you stamp it like this. I did a little cute stamp. So yeah, that's what I decided to do for invitations. I did DIY, homemade, wedding invitations, and I had so much fun making them. I will link the calligraphy set, um, the envelope liners, envelopes, wax seal stamp. I will link everything down below that I bought off Etsy in case you were interested in making your own. I just got this in the mail from my mom. It is our cake and knife set for cutting our cake. It says Alyssa and Harrison, May 22nd, 2023. I love the wood. It's the rustic, outdoorsy type of vibe. So this is so beautiful. The quality is really nice. I actually don't know where she got it, so I will ask her and link it down below if you guys are interested. And then here's the knife. It has our date on it. Can't wait to cut the cake. For our cake, I'll show you all some screenshots on the screen of the inspo that we sent our cake maker. And so the, the fruit of Maine is wild blueberries. So the cake is gonna be wild blueberries with lemon zest and maple syrup, and then a, um, a lemon cream like frosting. And I like the, the naked cake look, so we're gonna keep it open, and then it's just gonna be one layer since it's the only 10 of us. And yeah, that's the flavor for the cake. So I'm really excited and I'll obviously show you guys once the time comes what the cake looks like. So that's what we'll be cutting the cake with is these beautiful cake and knife set that my mom just got us. Up next, I wanted to open my wedding shoes with you guys that I'll be wearing for our wedding. Um, as I mentioned, it's at a nature preserve. And so it's about like a five to 10 minute hike through the woods and uh, high heels are not a good idea. And these are my first official pair of cowboy boots. So I'm really stoked um, because it's so special. I got my first cowboy boots for my wedding. So I was doing a lot of research um, on boots and I found that Tacovas uh, seem to be the best uh, bang for your buck. They're really high quality and they're not like too expensive. Um, I know Luches, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but uh, that boot company, they're like $800 for cowboy boots. And while that is like goals, I'm gonna start off with Tacovas because they're, they're also great quality and they seem like a really great brand. Let's open up my cowboy boots. So excited, here we go. So I actually ordered a six in the mail and they were a little bit too big. So I just, uh, I just exchanged them and these are a size five and a half because I guess they run a little bit big. <laughs> All right, moment of truth. So they're handmade, high quality, based in, they're based in Texas, uh, but I think the boots are actually made in Mexico. So. Texas and Mexico based brand. Oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous guys. These are the uh, the Annie boots and they are the bone color and size five and a half. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at these babies. Whew, they smell so good. I love the smell of fresh leather. Look at this. Oh my goodness, okay. Let's pull out the other ones. Okay, yes, I'm so here for this. Look at these guys. These are adorable. 
Oof, I am obsessed. So cute. So moment of truth, we're gonna see if they fit. This is the five and a half. Oh, they fit perfect. They're perfect. So these are my cowboy boots that I'll be wearing for our wedding and then for years to come after our wedding. So if you're looking for some high quality cowboy boots that won't break the bank too much, check out these Tacovas. I highly recommend them. So I hit up my friend Taylor who is an esthetician. She's like really into the perfume world and I'm not. So she gave me a great idea that I wanna share with you guys because this is freaking genius. So Le Labo is a perfume company and they're super freaking expensive. Um, like the, the smallest bottles, like $200, and then the bigger bottles, like $350. Um, so I don't know about you guys, but I'm not trying to spend hundreds of dollars on perfume. I don't even wear perfume. Um, so I just wanted to get, you know, some nice perfume for our wedding day. So she was like, dude, you should order the samples. The samples are only like $7. So I ordered $7 samples and it's plenty because like I said, it's just for our wedding day and maybe like an event or two after, but um, I spent $21 on perfume instead of hundreds of dollars. So that's my little secret is to order perfume samples. So I just got the samples in the mail and I'm gonna open them with you guys and smell them and see which one I like best. So she recommended the Jasmine 17 one and then the Fleur de Orange. So these are the two that she recommended. And then I got Vetiver because I freaking love Vetiver and I might want Harrison to wear this one. So we'll see if it is like, if it smells too girly or too feminine, but these are the three that I got and let's open them. Let's see which one I like best. So her favorite was the Jasmine. So let's see. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Ooh. <sighs> so the Jasmine has a very like floral wildflower scent to it. Beautiful. All right, let's open the Flor de Oranger. Ooh. Mmm, it smells really good. I honestly think, let me see. I think Jasmine is more my vibe. It's a little bit more uh, floral and feminine. I like the orange. It smells, it, to me, it smells more like cleaning spray. So I'm probably gonna wear the Jasmine and let's see what the vetiver smells like. Vetiver is freaking, oh, it's so divine. It's one of my favorite scents ever actually. These are not easy to open. Ooh, ooh, that's really potent. It smells good. I, I think that I would be down for Harrison to wear this one, actually. I, I think vetiver is kind of like a unisex smell, so maybe maybe Harrison can wear this one. The Jasmine 17 is my favorite, and this is the one that I'm gonna wear on our wedding day, so. So hey, there's a tip for you. Order samples from your perfume companies and you'll save a couple hundred bucks on perfume for your wedding. If you're wondering what dress I got, you will see. Um, but I actually flew to New York to visit Harrison's sister and go wedding dress shopping. And we went to places like Grace Loves Lace and um, Lovely Bridal and like all the top wedding places in New York. And I was actually pretty disappointed with their choices. I mean, don't get me wrong, they had beautiful choices, but for $3,000, like I expect it to be top notch quality, honestly. And most of the brands like aren't even sustainable. And I don't know, I was just like, wow, I can't believe people spend like three to $6,000 on a dress and this is what you get. So I was really disappointed with the dresses that I saw and I also didn't want to spend $3,000, honestly. Like that just doesn't sound too fun. Um, so I posted on Instagram and I was like, hey, if any girls like have recommendations for sustainable wedding dress options, like please let me know. And I even checked on, I checked on Etsy. I checked on Facebook Marketplace. I went to a few thrift stores around here and I didn't really see anything I liked. Um, but I had a friend recommend reformation and I went on reformation and I instantly found something So I actually ordered my dress from reformation and I got it during the black Friday sale and it was like a hundred bucks off So I spent 
$300 on my wedding dress and I'm not ashamed to say it because it's freaking gorgeous and it's from an awesome company that um, you know has sustain that uses sustainable practices um, in their in their production of clothing so I'm really happy with um, my the route that I took to get my wedding dress and I was really nervous to order it online um, but you can always get it hemmed if it doesn't fit and I just ordered the smallest size they had which is I think is like a zero and it fits perfectly. So I also checked out Anthropology. I really like Anthropology's um, options, but they were just a little bit over my price range and I didn't really find any that I was obsessed with. So I decided to go with Reformation and I'm really happy I did because the dress is perfect. So stay tuned and I will continue to take you guys with me along for the wedding planning process. Let's do this. I'm headed to Farmington, Maine to get my wedding dress hemmed. I met a, a beautiful lady named Laura that owns a textile shop. And long story short, she's been in the wedding dress business for about 40 years now. And I actually ordered my dress online and it fits perfectly, but it just needs about two inches uh, to come up from the, the length of it. So that's what she'll be doing. And she also has head pieces and hair pieces. So let's see what she's got. I have my dress, my cowboy boots in the car that I'm wearing, and yeah, my dress and my boots, that's all you need. So it's about a 40 minute drive, and we're gonna cruise, I'm gonna call my mom, play some music, maybe a podcast. I'm gonna put on my glasses so I can see the road signs clearly. Seat belt, mirror, check, let's go. These are my top three. I love this mother of pearl comb. And then these are really pretty just to scatter around. They're like bobby pins almost. And then I love and this comes with mother of pearl. Oh yeah, and these are also mother of pearl. So just like the first one. And then these are really beautiful. Um, these, these pins, they come with a set of three so you can scatter them out. They're really pretty. Just got my wedding makeup in the mail. Tubes & Co, they are a non-toxic based makeup company. And as I'm sure you're aware, but most conventional traditional makeup that you find in the supermarkets is full of harmful and toxic ingredients. Um, so for our wedding day, I'm just really excited to be putting clean makeup on my face and support a, a family. They make everything here in the US and it's a husband and wife team. Uh, they support local farms and they use high quality organic ingredients. It's really important to be aware of what we're putting on our skin as it's our largest organ. So let's get into the box, see what they got. We have a beautiful highlighter here. I will definitely be doing a makeup tutorial where I try everything on. This is just an unboxing video. We have a bronzer. This is the beautiful eyeshadow palette that probably goes in here. So just put them in here like this. Super beautiful neutral tones. That's what I'm going for for the wedding. We have a new brush. I'm so excited. I've been using the same brush for years. I went with the Sand Beige Mineral Foundation. Super stoked to use this. Goodbye, Bare Minerals. We have some lipstick. Frankincense Face Balm. This is tallow-based face moisturizer. We have blush concealer and mascara. So I can't wait to do a makeup video for you guys, but all these products look so beautiful and I'm really excited to try them out. Hey, baby. That's all I found them on rover.com, on the Rover app. If you want a dog, sit cute dogs like him, download Rover. Since I recorded my last video, taking my wedding dress to get altered, I have um, a few goodies that have arrived in the mail. So I just wanted to open them and show you guys what, what we got. We got our vow books in the mail and this is mine. 
I chose to get my name with the date and then I had the option of doing blank pages or lined pages inside and of course I had to go with lined because I cannot write straight for the life of me. And then this is Harrison, got tan and this is made from real leather. I will link it down below, found it on Etsy. Mm, smells good. He also chose to get his name and the date and lined pages inside as well. So these are our two beautiful vow books that we ordered off Etsy that we will be writing and confessing our love for each other in. So you know when you're carrying your bouquet, you have to obviously have something around it to keep it together and make it look nice. Well, I found this girl on Instagram. Her company is called Honey Silks & Co. She hand dyes everything in small batches. So she sells out pretty quick, so when she does release a set of ribbons, you wanna be on it. I decided to get the golden rod color because we're getting um, dried flowers and we're doing like an earthy tone color palette. Look at this, wow. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This is like the highest quality ribbon I've ever touched in my life. 